Hi guys, it's Janae and welcome back to my channel and today I'm reacting to the final episode of Devil Judge episode 16. I can't believe it. I'm in two minds about how I'm feeling about it because on the one hand I'm very excited, on the other hand I'm very stressed because I can see the show going either way like having a surprisingly positive ending or having an absolutely tragic ending. And I just don't know if I'm ready for it, but I'm still excited because the last episode was just, it was so good. So anyway, before we do get into it, I just want to say a quick massive thank you to all my amazing patrons and channel members. If you're interested in joining either of those for early access and uncut reactions to things like Devil Judge, the links for it will be in the description below along with my social media and my PO box. And if you want to subscribe, that's always greatly appreciated. And lastly, I will be leaving the link to the poll for what I should watch next in the pinned comment. So if you haven't voted yet, please remember to vote. But now without further ado, let's get into today's video. <laughs> So they didn't tell her? I don't have a pillow with me, we're gonna have to fix that. Mm. Okay, so no, but um, Kim Gong, you could stand trial for that, you could be imprisoned for that. Why on earth would you say that? Because then instead of just Kan Yohan being down for the count, you're going to be down for the, for the count as well. And then no one is going to be able to help anyone. Oh my word, I just, I wish Kim Gaon would slow down and think this through because he's acting so rashly and that is not going to win against Suna. Suna is very calculated and she's probably counting on him to act rashly. <laughs> I mean, it's good that he reminded him of that because even though he was probably trying to be rude about it, it's good that he's being reminded so he won't try anything that will just backfire on him. Oh great, he's gonna have a tough time in prison. Because I'm betting you there's a lot of people. Oh, my heart is beating so fast. He didn't even stand trial. It's so frustrating because I think in his mind he's still doing the right thing. And I wonder if he's ever going to come to the realization that he was on the wrong side. Sorry, I just had to grab a pillow. <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah, but you're still okay with working with the person responsible for her death. Does that not say enough? And yet you're still aiding and abetting her. I don't know how you can live with yourself. It's interesting, her demeanor is completely different here than when she's generally dealing with the, the upper class people and I think it's because she knows that he isn't, he's a bit more discerning than the politicians. He would have picked up on her manipulative like baby voice style of talking. So it's interesting that she has a completely different demeanor here with him, but he still fell for it. I just find it hilarious that this man is so convinced that Khan Yohan is a monster, and yet he knew when he was framing Khan Yohan that he was framing Kanyuhan, he wasn't like at that point convinced that Kanyuhan had done it. And yet he doesn't seem to see the fact that he's now become as much of a monster as he claims Kanyuhan to be. Which is the exact thing that Khan Yohan thought he needed to become in order to stop them. Oh, the cycle. I kind of hoped he would clock him in the face. <laughs> Oh, this is so frustrating because I don't begrudge Kim Go on all the emotions he's feeling, they're totally valid, but at the same time, he's being so rash that I'm scared he's destroying any recourse that he possibly have of that he possibly has to successfully go against the president and Suna or get Khan Yohan's name cleared like any of that and I just I don't know if he has the emotional capacity to go against Suna even if he might have the like actual intelligence because we've seen he is intelligent and resourceful when he needs to be, but his emotions keep tripping him up. Okay, sit her down and tell her everything, please. Oh. The sad thing is there are police officers who abuse their power like that. I'm overanalyzing the cigar at the moment because the only other person that we've seen do the thing with the cigar was is it Minister of Justice, the woman um, who committed suicide? And I'm like trying to <laughs> find meaning where there probably isn't any, but I'm like, please let that be like early foreshadowing that she's going to be taken down by Kanyuan just the same way that the Minister of Justice was, even though. 
technically the Minister of Justice wasn't taken down by Kanye Han and her ending I still find strangely tragic despite everything that she did wrong. You should have done what I told, told you to do, <laughs> even though you can't hear me. And I really don't want to read from you. This feels a bit far-fetched. Like, I get what she's saying. I think she suspects that the president is recruiting people to testify against her or something like that. But why would she even think to consider that as an option? It just seems a little bit too shrewd. Uh, this is making me sick. I am so stressed. And also, I just... This show can go so far with grimness that I'm apprehensive to see what this place will hold. Please don't tell us. If you tell us, that means it's gonna fail. If Elia ends up alone by the end of this, I am gonna. I don't even know what. I'm gonna riot. Oh, this is not gonna work out because he's one person against many. went with the idea of selling the dream I really hope there's not any like cameras I did not anticipate this turning into a medical drama in the final episode. I, If there's viruses or things like that, I am gonna... I, I don't do good with medical things. Because my fear is that he kind of like, oh, you know, gets out alive, manages to save Kan Yohan, and everything looks like it's gonna be fine. And then it turns out he's infected with a deadly disease and he has only like one day left to live and... You know, just when we thought everything was fine, it turns out it's not. That type of thing. Is that not a bit obvious? Can't, don't you have a button cam or something fancy like that in this society? What are you doing? I'm trying to think. Oh, because I was like, who, who is this? But I think she's the, the girl who, uh, the actress who helped them like incriminate the one guy. 
and then was taken away. But why are they keeping her alive? That's because uh, I rem hadn't forgotten about her, but I did forget, I think, to mention that I was still concerned about her and why they would be keeping her alive. Because I thought she would come in to be like the, the Trump card if all else failed and they needed her to testify about something. But Kanyan's already more or less sorted, so why would they still be keeping her alive? We all go to go to sleep. Put your freaking thingy back on. Put your thing back on, please. Put your thing on. This is so grim, but also I don't like. I don't see how Kim Gaon is going to be able to do anything to about this. And please put your hat on. It's making me nervous that you have ha your hair visible. But also, it's interesting that he's not as boisterous as he was before. <laughs> I can't decide which side they're playing for. Because they've not shown that they're at all trustworthy, so they could very well kind of be luring the betrayal out of him and then going back to report it to Suna. Okay, I'm gonna leave the fact that. What is You're not wearing your hat, and it's gonna. Who is this and why are you being helpful? I really hope she's trustworthy. Mm. Why does it feel like he's gonna have to sacrifice himself in order to make whatever this thing is work? Like the tone of voice would indicate that whatever it is is very final. And I'm still waiting for the other shoe to drop about these people who were able to help them even though I'm hoping that they are genuinely well intentioned. Let's see what she's planning to do. Now all she needs to do is she needs to spot that girl that she seemed to sympathize with. I think that's her. Yeah. Yeah, you need to realize what you caused.
Maybe not caused, but she definitely aided. saying this but I would love to see her have something of a redemption arc even though I could never forgive her for everything that she has done but better to have true regrets late than never what are you gonna do I, I just, I can't help but imagine him showing up there and causing a terrible scene and my mind immediately went to like suicide bombing and I really hope that that's not the, the thing that we're gonna go with. Wow. Again, not surprised, this is something that does happen in prisons, but it just is interesting how corrupt everything is on. He's not telling her enough, is he? Oh, great. Can Johan has just been murdered inside the... No, 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 no. I know this isn't romance, but my brain is the, just like conjuring up one bad scenario after the other. And as of two seconds ago, that bad scenario includes. Kim Gaon going on a suicide mission because he thinks that Kan Yohan is dead and Kan Yohan not actually being dead and then Kim Gaon dies like freaking Romeo and Juliet and it's only afterwards revealed that Kan Yohan survived. I'm sorry, if you can't tell, I'm stressed. Because I'm refusing to believe that he actually died. You need to show me his body in the ground before I might believe it. So is victory everything you hoped for? I go, Kang Yuan, the Mion Joy, my dear, na ba yo, kakum sangan dal ko asmida kaka. Otke mo, jesa sangi le do bajoy de na ilyon e ambon. <laughs> the good thing is they're now more vulnerable than ever because they have their guards down. Mm. Mm. Why am I immediately thinking, has this man been working for Kanyo Han the whole time and we never knew? Unfortunately, I don't think that's the case. But it does seem like he has an ulterior motive. I'm just not sure what that ulterior motive might be. <laughs> they weren't like that, but okay. <laughs> now the question is just who is gonna fall between the four of them. Oh, 
Okay, but won't they be checking your purses? Because that's what they've been doing. Oh, but maybe it's because you're too important that they wouldn't check your purse. 지금은 국가 비상 사태 아닙니까? 제 개인의 영광을 앞세울 시기가 아니라고 생각합니다. 부디 이해해 주시기 바랍니다. 맞습니다. 정선아 이사장님께서 조용히 뵙자고 말씀 좀 전해 달라 하셨습니다. 전에 쓰시던 대법관실에서 기다리고 있겠다 하셨어요. 거기가 비어 있어서. Um, what were you planning, Kim g o n 고맙습니다, 오빠사님. 이제 건물 밖으로 나가주세요. 응? 건물 밖으로? 왜? 나중에 말씀드릴게요. 저 지금은 제말 들어주세요. Suicide bombing thing is looking more and more likely. 함께 가시죠, 교수님. I hate this so much, and we forget that Kim g o n had a bit of a rough, like teenage year bit, which makes sense why that was so easy for him. One minute, one and a half minute. That's way too little time for my nerves. 수영이한테 속죄한다고 생각하시죠? 마지막 남은 양심 있으시다면. Oh my word, I was not prepared for this. I can't believe we're just waiting for the end. What? Please tell me. Yes. 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 Give it to me. Yes. <sighs> I should have known we had too much time left, but still. And that means there's more things that can possibly go wrong, but at least this isn't one of them for now. <laughs> Come on, you kind of want to cry from happiness, we know. Oh, <laughs> He had a plan, of course. Oh, I want to see how far back this goes. <laughs> Is he really blackmailing this man while he's? In the like non position of power. <laughs> no, my word, I'm enjoying this way too much. Wow, what a change in tune. Is he gonna swap? Yeah, no, but he's gonna swap out a lesser known prisoner for someone who works for Kanyan and then they're gonna stage the stabbing. Oh, 
Can you afford to not follow? Oh, he, so he had tried to murder him. Please tell me there was a fail safe for that bomb in case Kanyo Han couldn't get there in time. Oh my soul, that's terrible, but it's so good. <laughs> oh my word. Uh, I'm not liking that. You know how I feel about that. Oh. Are we to assume that he is exacting his revenge right now and we luckily don't get to see it? How did they get? Your personal line? Really? You guys have a look bad? Oh damn, you're dumber than I thought. This is so cool. I'm just so scared something's gonna go wrong. Because there's too much of this episode left. <laughs> Why wouldn't he though? Why are you keeping Suna out of it? That's interesting. Where, where is the bed that Kanyan witnessed? <laughs> that was so petty, but I love it. Even then, the size of Shagim Jadan Jones and I said, Jones on Edge was happy. I wondered how he was going to hold her accountable. But do they have proof? Okay, but you need proof of that. If we go according to Chekhov's gun, it would stand to reason that this time he's probably gonna actually use that knife in the way he intended. I'm so, 
I'm so glad that he didn't do it, but I'm so scared. I'm so scared that Kim Gong's kindness is gonna be abused again. I just don't trust him not to attack him wrong. Don't let your guard down. One percent. That's intense. Oh, this is so grim and this is not at all what I wanted. Is it a surprise? Not really. How many verses they say? Ten million? So many of them. Isn't everyone in the building gonna suffer because of this? Interesting. How does he know that? What is the plan here? Why? Interesting. Interesting. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that was his thing. Oh, you look so good standing like that, damn. I love that they didn't say you piece of trash, even though they said it or they didn't translate it. Trans. Yeah. I'm hating every single second of this. <sighs> I just don't think Kim Gaon is going to be able to save him from. Like that even at this point, Suna considers herself above everything. I mean, see, this is the the sad thing. If they hadn't been trying to sabotage each other, all of them could have made it out of here alive.
This is just a lot and I... I... <sighs> She's gonna kill him. She's either gonna kill him, or even worse, she's gonna kill Ka Kim Ga Hoon as he comes to save him. <laughs> wow. Wow. Who's she gonna shoot first, do you think? Is it gonna be the president? <gasps> yeah. You're invincible, please. Oh, that's such a good shot. Strange, because I think she's genuinely kind of seduced by that idea. She gonna shoot herself? That's very interesting. I'm so mad at myself for crying for her. It's interesting because throughout all of this, she's kind of been framed as this person who you could never really see taking her own life. And yet, if you look at like all the time she's had to reaffirm her belief in herself, it could potentially show that there was a lot of pain that she was hide hiding behind those words that I hadn't really picked up on before. <sighs> okay, where are the votes at? Where are the votes at? Because the, the bomb is going to go off automatically at that time, isn't it? Elia took Funja Hakoya. Tata Sigil Hachi. 
Yeah, that's a good point. It's interesting to me that the numbers haven't really slowed down since Kanyohan came into the equation. You would think that people might want to spare him, but it seems that even that isn't really deterring them. But he doesn't want to see you become a devil, that's the thing. So get that get 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 it get it get it No Why would they be so close to the, where the explosion is going to take? I'm going to have to read so many fix it fix after this because I am not going to be able to deal with this. I suspected Kanyan would die, but I'm so disappointed. Could they not just have ended it there? I don't Sir, want the aftermath. Ambulance like that. What happened? Hello, where is she? Oh no. Huh? Did he please? Chip Chungin goes in Muna Chiki to Shipta. Mutega Kanamian, Master Son and Sarajanda. Yeah, but through smoke and mirrors, perhaps, aka he might be safe. Oh, 
걱정할 수 있어? 아 그걸 말이라고 하시니까 그거 어디야? 여보 오늘부로 해고야 응? 이젠 이 집을 떠나서 자유롭게 살아 이 집엔 이제 아무도 없을 거야 아니 그게 무슨 말씀이신지 Please tell me what I got to say goodbye. Because right now I'm not sure if they, if he's actually alive or if it's just like, here's how to clean up the mess I made after I'm dead. You know, kind of blueprints, instructions, I'm not sure. 갈까? 우리 둘이서 <웃음> Still feels like he's saying goodbye. So I don't think he's alive. I would be so happy if I'm wrong though. 더 바쁘게 생겼습니다. 하세요? 도련님이 건강식품 쇼핑몰을 차려주셨습니다. 퇴직금이라면서. 몸에 좋고 맛없는 거 실컷 팔라니. 맞다며 뭐야? 선언 사건 전담부에 자원했어. 사고 친 녀석들 혼도 좀 내주고 도와도 주고. 내가 잘할 수 있을 것 같아서. 야, 이거지. 언제나 그랬듯이 고생 많으셨어요. 야, I'm so I'm really happy that she got a good arc because she had so much potential as a character and they really did utilize it perfectly. To keep his pose. Oh goodness, why? 강요하는 영웅도 아니지만 사법동이 침해입니다. 저 의원님, 근데 그보다는 국민적 인기가 더 높은 우리 김가원 판사를 재판장으로 올려서 그 새로운 시범 재판부를 구성하는 것이 이런 시간에 네? 우리 할 일부터 해야 되지 않습니까? 오! 사람들이 분노하는 데에는 이유가 있는 겁니다. 어, 좋은 말씀입니다. 젊은이들은 그런 결기가 있어야죠. 존중합니다. Ah, uh, it feels so much like he's like good boy, you know. And now let the adults talk. That's kind of the energy that he's giving. I don't know if he's intending to give it, but I think that the first thing that they should do in order to, and it's a, it's something that is easily said but not easily done. But what they should do is they should make sure that the court is always independent from political influence. Because that is a big problem that they seem to They're not going to change. They don't see the problem in their own actions. Who are you? Okay. I can't figure out if that's him hallucinating or not. And I, I don't know if we're gonna know. But is he real though? Uh, I don't know how to feel.
Or at least he seems to genuinely be alive. Which is good. Oh. Cause maybe it'll mean they meet up again somewhere off screen. But that's interesting. Cause that that does seem to conjure the idea of him being an illusion. Okay, so that was the end of the final episode of Devil Judge. I Wow. I kinda of wanna rewatch it because I just feel like I was so caught up in stress the entire episode that there's a lot of small moments that I probably missed. But damn, that was good. I... <sighs> There's so much to unpack. I will say I'm really glad because when I first saw the blueprints after Kim Gaon went and checked and couldn't find Ilya, I was afraid that it was blueprints for the church that she'd somehow found. Like she found out that no, it couldn't have been a circuit board that had caused the fire. But I'm, I'm kind of glad that... Kim Gaon kind of carried on the life for Kan Yuhan. It's it's sad, but there's unfortunately like there's nothing to be gained from her knowing the truth and everything to be lost. So it just I think it's better that it stays a secret. I'm really happy with how uh Judge O was handled. Not so happy with the fact that uh the frustrating person who tried to stage the the riot in jail and was assaulting people on the street and everything like that that he didn't like get better consequences um it just it was very infuriating that he just kind of was pushed to the side after being on my nerves for so many episodes but overall i just felt like the messaging for this entire episode was very strong especially here at the end where sadly enough nothing really changed it feels realistic and unfortunately i think it's the most accurate truth about things like that where you think that something that's so life-changing for so many people will leave a bigger impact than it at the end of the day really does the only thing i will say i am very glad that Kan Johan survived and was able to go to Switzerland with Elia if indeed that is like it is the way that it appeared that he is actually alive and he's not just a ghost from Kim Gaon's memories because you, ne you don't really know it maybe I'm just too tainted by all my sad ending Chinese dramas that I've watched that I hesitate to believe happy endings when they do come along. It feels too good to be true, basically. But I am sad that it ended up with Kan Yohan, Ilya, and Kim Gaon splitting up. In the most ideal ending, I would have liked Kim Gaon to go to Switzerland with them. And it's just a little bit sad that he ended up staying behind in a society that I don't think is quite ready for the change that he is trying to make but then on the other hand if someone doesn't try there will be no progress story-wise and character-wise i get why him going with kan Yohan might have been too simplistic of a solution for things but damn if my happy ending heart doesn't badly want that <laughs> anyway i'm just glad all three of them survived at least as far as i can tell but before i leave you guys i did want to give you a heads up that Brittany from gay watch and i are gonna be doing discussion videos about devil judge because we both enjoyed it so much so one of the discussion videos is going to be here on my channel and the other one is going to be over on her channel so yeah i i'm really excited for it i hope you guys will tune in and thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me it truly was an amazing viewing experience i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did and otherwise i'll see you guys again next time Zajin.